Hey everyone, I'm back with another tutorial. So last time we added our sound effects, SFX, and our music file also. So today I'm going to show you how to export this video and audio for mixing and mastering and dubbing. For that, for that I'm going to unlock all the layers. So this much we have. Uh, I'm going to come beginning of the edit. So I'll go to my text tool. I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna type this one as a real one. Let's call this one as a real one. In the movies we have real one, real two, real three, something like that. So I'm gonna type as a real one. Make it control A. And then let's go to our control FX control. Let's grab this one up to here. Okay, we can work out right now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to my graphics. Let's take this one, graphics tool. I'm gonna go to my edit, make this one center, click here, align and transform. Click this both, we'll get nice uh, on center, this real one as in center. So we need to change our font, this is not looking great. You can, you can keep it if you want, that doesn't matter, but I'm gonna change my font. It's not looking good. Okay, I'm gonna choose the monster rot, monster rot, something. Okay, where is that? Can I type that one here? Yeah. Here it is. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna make this one as a something bold. Maybe medium. Medium is fine. Okay, centered. I think I'm gonna go a little extra size. Maybe 120 something. Yeah, that's pretty good. 120 is fine. So I'm gonna my I'm gonna select this one, and then let's make this one as some red color, something like that. You can choose any color you want. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna take this one, cut that, Control X, and then go up to very beginning, and then paste that. So let's keep this one, maybe two seconds, something like that. Okay, one second. Yeah, that's two seconds, it's fine. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make a cut here, and this part. Let's play this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, before we are giving to the dubbing or mixing or anything we don't know the exact where is the audio starting from they also don't know where is the audio is exactly starting from so for that we need to add our beep sound in the beginning uh, my audio part is done i'm gonna go to my my workspace here it is if you go to if you click here new item or else if you go to the file new there is a bars and tones 1080 is fine, 24 fps, remember that one, we are looking on 24 fps, double click that one, straight tones, okay, let's grab this one here, yeah, we got this one, it's a beep sound, so I'm gonna take only one frame, and then, I will, I will choose only one frame, cut that one, remove rest of the part, so we are getting like that, Yeah, that means audio starting from there, after beef, 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 something, not beef, okay. Okay, I'm going to remove this part. Now see, is exactly after beef, our audio is starting from here. So based on this one, the audio engineer, they will design the sound from here to here. So I'm going to send this part to our audio engineers uh, mixing mixing and mastering for that one they are using this sound as a reference and then they will add original high quality sound effects for me so that's how we are working on so if you have you can add your original sounds okay real one okay here that's great so i'm gonna copy this both part sorry copy that one 
select this part copy that and let's go to our end part paste that so in this case this beef we want oh sorry paste that we want this beef on end of the end of the video here this part paste that one yeah that's great okay here we need to change our font text here I'm gonna call this one end of real one something like that so we can understand okay that is the end part so let's make this one as alignment uh, let's go to our graphics tool okay we got our graphics tool go to edit and select our end and then make sure there is a center okay that's pretty good okay we added our all beep sound and all the things okay now we need to add our time code here we don't have anything to count that one this time code so we need for that we need a time code for that one so i'm gonna take this adjustment layer well let ta let's take this one adjustment layer and let me see what's happened so i'm gonna start from here okay click on this come and then search come to fx and then search go to search bar and then type as time code so we have time code right there just drop that one here come up to here and then maybe keep it uh, you can keep anywhere you want so i'm gonna keep this one okay sorry there's motions go to our time code and then i'm gonna change my up to here because we are exporting dv though the so the dv is crop up to this much area sometimes so that's why i don't want to crop this time code so that's why i keep it here one so i'm going to remove this dot click on that if you feel symbol remove that one we don't want that field symbol and there is opacity make it a little bit extra opacity if you have any white points you so it won't hide our time code we can see properly and if you go to media click on clips and then 24 fps is, is fine so we got our type code so we set our position up to here this area and then make it size is 15 percent is fine and then opacity is maybe 60 so in the black in the white area we can see clearly on the text text word that we have and i turned off the field symbol we don't want that symbol and then smpt we want and then media is fine or either you can click on clip also it's in the if you're using small small clips you can click as clips and 24 fps make sure that it's in 24 fps okay that's pretty good looking good okay that is done let's take this part and then extend it up to end here So that beep we don't want up to here that is end so that much we want 